Hi guys, I'm here with my, um, what is this, July empties? Oh my goodness, it's like halfway through August. Okay, so I'm here with my July wax empties. I actually don't have any others empties, so we're gonna skip straight to wax, right? Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but July was Christmas in July, so all of these are Christmas. Um, I have to tell you though, I kept, I purposely didn't melt something. Some things, I should say. I'm gonna dump it out and then put it back. The reason I didn't melt some things is because I just really like them and as my collection is starting to narrow down because I haven't been buying any or else I would have shown you the hauls, I'm finding that I still have this problem where I do not want to melt things that I love which makes no, no sense. Like no sense. Anyways, long enough talking. This is Santa's chair and this is by Midnight Daydream Wax Company. <sighs> so good. It was like, you know what I liked about this? I like the combination of toasted marshmallow and then tobacco and leather. There are other notes in here and I'm not gonna go through every single one, but would I repurchase? Yes, I would. I still have, well, no, let me leave these for the end. Um, yeah, let me filter those through over here. And this one, and this one, actually I can't lie, y'all, that's not okay. Um, so I have, I finished Blue Spruce by Hayden Rowe. And this one, it was just too... I mean, honestly, I think I would have liked it more in the winter. Ugh, now I'm regretting using it. <laughs> like, what is this? What is this? Um, I'm like, what is behind me? My hair. Um, yeah, so empty that. Would I repurchase? I would repurchase a spruce scent. Not, it doesn't necessarily have to be that one. That one, it just smells like straightforward. Um, spruce i finished lure at apothecary's holiday cheer i did not like this it was way too much cinnamon for me so i didn't love that i finished uh lure apothecary christmas cookie battle it had a syrupy sweetness to it that i also didn't like i realized it was easy to get rid of a couple of these lure apothecary bars and they were like some of them were full bars some of them weren't um but it was easy to get rid of them because i just didn't love them um, so like I liked some of them, but like not repurchase worthy. This was Christmas Vacation and this one was not a repurchase either. Lord of Pop Carry. This is with Envy Winter, Winter Wonderland. Nothing was too special about it. So would not repurchase. Uh, White Birch by K Scent and Melt. Again, this is one of those things like if I were to rebuy a tree scent, it would definitely be this one like or from K Scented because I can get those smaller quantities that would last me just for Christmas. And what's today? It's August filming this. I probably will go ahead and start purchasing winter wax next month. This is, let, well, I don't know why this is in here. Did I use this? I'm thinking I did. Cause I ended up saving so much of my Christmas wax y'all that I ended up having to use outside months wax, outside this wax. But I was gonna present that in my August empties cause it was actually towards the end of the month. Um, but I ended up using, well, it's here, Lavender Lime. It was such an interesting mix. And of course, it comes from L3 because she loves to do the mixes we're not, we don't see coming. But if I remember correctly, yeah, the lavender in here was like a sweet lavender. And I didn't love that. I mean, not that I like lavender in the first place. So, but not repurchase. Now, for the items I kept, which is like half of them. <laughs> so embarrassed. This is embarrassing to me. Which is Oh Christmas Tree, which is just a mixture of pink sugar and balsam. And I want to say this is Lured Apothecary, but now that I look at it, the name is, the vendor's name is not on here. Who did that? Just by the bar shape though, I'm going to go ahead and say it's Lured Apothecary. But goodness, you guys put your name on stuff. Um, Just too good, too good. I used it a little bit and I was like, no, I don't want to use it anymore. <laughs> and there's actually, so what you see right now is actually, that's the rest of it. It was like um, folded in kind of. I I used only one cube of this and I was like, no, this is too good. I'm saving it. Holiday Linen by Hayden Rowe. It's like a punch you in the face holiday linen. It is so good. And I know my husband's going to love this. I don't know if he smelled it when I did have it on, but yeah, I know he's going to love that. This is Cherry and Balsam by Better Homes and Gardens. And I just realized like, I probably can't find this anymore. I don't know. I haven't been back to Walmart in forever, but just in case I kept two little cubes. Ugh, so good. So good. The cherry in this is like perfect with the, I don't know why that works, but the cherry and the tree scent together works so well. 
I kept an entire bar of Fireside Flurries just because I know uh, how good it is. Uh, so good. Yeah. I got problems. So. Oops. <laughs> I just couldn't bring myself to melt Christmas memories. So I don't know if this is an empties really because I have so many that are still there. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, oh yeah, definitely going to keep that one. I guess we can call this a failed empties. This is Christmas cookie, which I have two little things left of. I think the only reason I didn't get through this is because after I got through so many of those alert apothecary bars, I was like, okay, I'm Christmas out. Even though this is not technically too Christmassy, I decided to move on from this Christmas basket and melt some other things. Um, so my August melting basket, I'm not my August empties for wax should be full. Lur. I did half of this winter mocha and decided, no, I love it too much. I need to stop. This is by Lurid Apothecary. Yes. This is by Lurid Apothecary. And you guys, this is so good. And I rarely like chocolate in wax. So I was like, yes, I have to keep this. Like this to me, it doesn't even smell like chocolate because I think that's what mocha is. It's just for some reason with the peppermint mixed in, it smells exactly like the drink. So I really, really like this. Keeping that. I have Christmas clouds, which to me, know what this is but it is so good and if they offer this again i would 100 percent repurchase that um it's like vanilla and i had to describe it it's like vanilla and is there any scent notes okay i have to check yeah okay so it's like vanilla some sort of laundry and maybe some herbal smell together but it's so good guys um just didn't I couldn't bring myself to finish it the next thing I have I only used one few that was like oh stop now that's enough holiday weights by ebony violet it's strawberry pound cake eggnog and vanilla bean marshmallow I was just like yeah that's good that's that's good I don't need to know anymore I'm saving it this is vanilla balsam type which is just I believe a bath money works type um it just smells like tree honestly I think I was so put off by the tree scents that I was like, I'm just going to save it. <laughs> this is Ebony Violet. Um, and then this is, last but not least, Reindeer Game, Snickerdoodle, Butter Brickle, Caramelized Praline, and, oh, that just says the Port Aid after that. Yeah, this one, I was just like, oh, I really like something about, I've said this before on my channel, but when cookies smell like pasty, I don't know if I'm describing that correctly, but... This has that smell, and so I really like that. And I don't know what about it smells that pasty smell to me, but something about it does. And so I really love these. So these are all actually, it's like a little pile, guys. I'm so ashamed. Are going back into my seasonal wax area that I have, which is overflowing with fall. And usually I don't I don't start fall till September here because it's still warm where I am until really it's warm where I am until like October. Um, and even then it's warm during the day and cool in the afternoons and nights. I mean, in the mornings. But I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And I think I might actually start my fall early because I haven't been doing melting baskets. I've just been pulling as is and showing you guys the empties. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and pull some, some fall out of there, you know? Okay. I've been talking about long enough. I'm moving on to the Bath and Body Works empties. Like, comment, subscribe for more content like this. And have a great day.